and welcome back to another episode of Victoria Two Hard of Darkness. Let's play Crash Bandicoot. Uh, not Victoria Two Hard of Darkness. The Canadian. Let's play Whoop. And we are back here in another episode of my design where we are having a little bit of rebel problems. I'm not gonna deny it. it's another one of those wannabe rebel things where they try to like take over my empire and think that they'll change the world by fighting me in any way. Well. You know, I have a big gigantic cloud of smoke called mustard gas, and I don't think that's gonna work. I mean, these these they, they, it looks like they would have the advantage over me, but my army is way tougher than theirs, and so wait for them to die. <laughs> That'll be our past time, everyone. So, anyways, uh, right now though is that that incident has kind of shown me that I'm kind of getting sick of all these rebel problems. So I'm gonna build a little bit more army, a little bit more armies in my main Canadian regions because I'm getting really really sick of all this like severely sick of all these like rebels popping up almost everywhere so one two three four five six one two three four five yeah that should be even okay so once those guys finish we should have like three or four different armies in Canada and that should be great and we do actually have a little bit of armies in over here in China land but they're being crushed pretty easily as you can see everyone's dying and so yeah and yeah so everyone now that we have like kind of like talked about this I just also want to say one other thing that I've been doing in the free time is I decided to upgrade all oh Mr. Spot oops Mr. Spot I was gonna say I upgrade all the railroads but apparently I missed like one spot and why are you guys not attack does it really take you that long to go in to go different oh I see you guys are doing some kind of weird switch up switch him up yeah I apparently missed like a couple spots whoops um, but yeah, I was working on upgrading all the railroads, and I am still upgrading our economy with much and much vigor. Like, we have a lot of different things going with our economy right now. We have a luxurious factory going right now, which is great. I mean, we now are starting, we're now starting to imp export on luxurious goods, and I'm also going to build a telephone company here. Yeah, this is, once, once, the more immigrants we have coming now, the more people that will love our country, I mean... Due to this, like, research of, like, people, I mean, we're still, uh, only 4.0% of the population, the total population, controls, controls the entire Canadian Empire, which I think is kind of stupid, but, eh, coloni colonizing is a hard work, and sometimes you just, eh, you have to have many people underneath you, but, yeah. So, yeah. I really gotta say, and, oh, I can't forget this, I cannot forget this, what are we gonna be doing this episode, guys? Well, we're going to be trying to take over Ganzai. And I guess thinking, well, weren't you thinking of taking over China last time? Well, there's a reason, so I'll explain it right now. So, basically, to gain what I need from them, or to get, you know, the cause's ability to establish a protectorate over either one of these, I need to draw them down to about four regions. Okay, each one is I have to draw them down to four regions. The only problem is, is that Ganzai is about six. China's about seven. So what I'm gonna have to do is, uh, what I've decided to do actually is just I'm gonna do some lightning wars, like for the next like ten or twenty years. I'm just gonna do lightning wars to keep going after them one by one, and that way to make sure that they never, ever gain the rank of um, civilized nation. Because once they gain the rank of civilized nation, this becomes a whole heap of a lot harder. And I really don't want it to be hard for me to take over these guys. I want them to be remain weak, so I can easily just go in and go kill them. So, anyways, that's just, that's just what we're going to be doing. So, once we drop below, okay, now, now I feel really confident. Now that we drop below, um, 19 infamy, I'm going to declare war and justify the man concession from the Gunzai. And what we're specifically going to take this time is this little region right here called Hunan. 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 Something like that. It's something Asian, which... As you guys know, I have a very bad history with pronouncing Jap Chinese letters. I mean, I'm much better at pronouncing Japanese. Japanese seems a little bit more easy, because um, provinces like Nagasaki, Kyoto, um, Shinto, um, they seem much more familiar to me than Chinese. Chinese just seems a little bit too alien, and as we can see, we have a little bit of problems, so and now the rebels are starting to kick up the game. I'm getting pretty happy with that. That seems... I think it's pretty good. I'm glad the rebels are actually taking an active role in trying to change my country. Even though it's futile that they would ever win. I mean, honestly, the Jacobson, the Jacobson rebels, though, they, they just give me such a hard time. And yes, the communists are also in this revolt, which I don't understand. Because I am a socialist government. I don't know why you guys want to revolt. 
because I am socialist. See, you know, I wish, see, I wish the rebel system was like, I don't know, better. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. Like, I wish they wouldn't try to switch. If you're already a socialist country, I wish they wouldn't try to switch you to be a communist country. That doesn't make any sense because I'm already close enough as it is that they'd be happy with just what I got. Uh, and so, you know, maybe I, it makes sense for like ultra liberals and like those kind of guys rolling against me because, you know, I'm completely different than what they expect. I'm not like a reactionary or I'm not that, you know, nationalist movements make make sense, but, you know, just everything else just doesn't. And I hope I killed a lot of the rebel leaders in this entire siege because that was a long, long siege. Yeah, and they obviously have control of a little bit of new woods. Well, we should, once I start gaining my new army, which I'm going to move right here in the capital, put Kappa, and we gain 2.3 infamy, dang, that means we won't be able to, by the time this war finishes, won't be able to, like, okay, um, gain another territory from Gunzai, that kind of stinks, I kind of was hoping that we could, though, because it helps us out so much if we could go gain some territory from Gunzai, and as you can see, more of my soldiers are moving up, they're coming for us! Those blasted Chinese! I know they're coming for us, they are! Okay, I've done... I better stop that right now, because I've done that almost every single time, and I find... I don't know if that's funny to you guys, or if it's just, like, annoying. Maybe in the comments you guys can tell me, but... Um... I always find it funny when I just, like, went to this very, very ex exasperated, like, old minor kind of phase. Like, oh, I can't believe those... I'm, I'm kind of imagining, like, the... Um, Indians right now, like Indians. I can't believe those Indians are coming right now. That's how I kind of imagine. Like the old prospect is in the mine. He's like yelling out, yelling out things like, "I can't believe those in those Indians are coming for us." And I know, and Indian is not actually the right word because Indian is um Japanese. That's Japanese for pilot. Indians, or a better better pronunciation, Native Americans. All right, and we got our territory. So yeah, that's how I kind of imagine that entire scenario going down. Just like that minor guy, just like. Going to the town and just like screaming it out with the top of his lungs, saying, "Yo, the the Indian, the Native Americans are coming. The Native Americans are coming." Well, he called them Indians, but the Native Americans are coming. And I'd be just like, "Yeah, yeah, right. That ain't true." But apparently, in this case, it's true because we're about to go to war for it. Okay, so now we got more dig. Now we got more defensive defensive positions up. I think I'm gonna max out our government intervention. Yeah, I'm gonna max out our government intervention because we wanna make sure in the future. That we have no difficulty conquering any of China. Like, we want to make sure that this is going to be, like, the easiest wars ever. And we want to make sure that we gain, like, basically no infamy for them. Every single time. That way we can do quicker and more precise wars. Wow, they are really, they are really going at me today in my own home country. I mean, they really are trying to free themselves. And there's apparently an industrial crisis with, um... With, uh, Russia going on. What is it? Poland independence. Thank you, Poland. Thank you, Poland. I love Poland in this game. Everybody you guys thinking, what? Why? Well, that's because I've conquered so many regions now that I'm starting to get those stupid crisis events. And basically, due to Poland, they will never fire because Poland always makes sure it's always in the spotlight. So I don't ever have to deal with any rebellions. This is like the best. I don't have to deal with any like crisis mode rebellions. And you aren't really fit for this kind of duty. Let me go put you over here. Okay, and yeah, my army should be looking fine now, but after this, after this, we should be moving up to rank 10 in terms of military power because actually Gunzai is rank 11, and this is going to be a pretty easy war, but I'm making sure that we have complete protection, and I saw some rebels over here, minor, oh yeah, we're, we're going to use that army to go crush them, so minor rebels, and it probably, well, we'll be back in position in about a couple of days, just give us a couple of days, ah. Oh. And this does not wear off until August 27th, which I'll use it probably at the end of this year, because then we have enough time. And Russia obviously wants me to join in on this side against whatever powers are going to so that they will gain Poland, but I really don't care. Like I said, the Canadians, Canadians do not want to deal with anything that happens in Europe. It's, the Europe has their own sphere. We don't care about it. We care about our sphere of the Asian Empire, which we still got a lot of Micronesian colonies, by the way. I still... Like, we have this one over here. Wake. Hey, Wake. It's technically Hawaii's islands, but, yeah, we haven't really done much with them, and it's still 100% Polynesian, and, as you can see, the crisis has failed to arouse interest in almost anyone, or did it arouse interest? I think it might have aroused interest, 
Luckily, due to us living in America and we act very much like America, we don't have to join into any of these crises. This, these crises do not concern us in our Canadian ways. In fact, let me make sure about that. No, no, it actually did not arouse interest in any of the great powers, so we don't have to join in still. And let me see, yeah, all my nations, all my people are reconquesting all of what happened. I'm putting all my soldiers back to work, and I think now is a good time to go to war. We have everything back under control. Let me make sure. Yeah, we have everything back under control. Almost all my all my troops are in the front lines. Yep. So everyone, um, I suggest those people who have weak of hearts and will feel very, very bad about the conquest I'm about to do, please turn away right now because this is going to be a slaughter. Like, I still have gas attacks enabled, so... Oh my goodness, this is going to kill them. They, they really will not have a chance in this war. So let's just go in. You go right there. You go right there. You go right there. No, not right there. You go right there. You go right there. You go right there. And you go right there. There we go. And wait, let me turn off hunt down rebels for all of them. That way they don't like in the middle of battle just like leave or something because they see a rebel. That would be very bad. Okay, yeah. The rest of these guys don't really have hunt down rebels. So let's destroy these Gunzaiin troops. Da 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 da. Okay, yeah. And we just basically have a solid wall of people, so they won't be able to do anything. Yeah, they won't. I don't think they'll be able to access our access our land. And an overporting of progress. The Bureau of Economic Planning has reported a gross miscalculation in last year's midterm plan, leading to a severe over reporting of military goods in our national stockpile. It has not been easy to find out how this error came about, since everyone in the administration seems to have their hands full of pushing the blame. We can attempt to recover our losses and enact pay cuts and, rationali and rationalizations without the administration and the bureaucracy, but we cannot expect a move like this to become popular. Someone has to pay. Blast. That isn't that much. We make I, we make so much more than that a day. That's not really that much. Speaking of which, I should probably keep upgrading my colonies. So over here, not colonies, my actual provinces. So over here, we need to build something. So let's build some uh, electrical gear place. Man, we Canada has possibly the most advanced like country in the world. Like we have everything. We know how to like. We know how to upgrade. Like we have all the latest gear. In fact, all the latest gear we have the best. Automobiles, telephones, and um, wires in the world. In fact, let me check on that just to make sure that I'm correct. So, automobiles, how are we doing? What? America overpassed me? Oh, it's on, America. It's on. I will destroy you. You are not. I but hey, at least I beat the Germans. <laughs> I beat the Volkswagen. That's pretty good, but. Oh, the German! I will not let the Americans topple my empire of awesomeness that I have going right now. Okay, how about electrical gears? We are barely at the top. That's sad. Okay, telephones. We are actually doing pretty good for that. So, let me just see. Well, I, if we built all of our telephones and stuff, I don't think we have. I think we've... Hmm, I know we built all of our automobiles. I think we're just going to have to wait for a lot of these migration stuff events to start like moving all my population around so that they start getting more and more jobs because as you can see the all my jobs are getting filled up pretty dang quickly it's just I need to like do some waiting I need to wait a little bit but anyways I thought we were number one I mean we were the first ones to get like all the industrial power of all these places but apparently not and I conquered the capital that was easy just straight up easy I'm gonna wait for my entire line to be ready to move on because we're gonna have to Okay, that territory might take a little bit, so I'll move these guys in. Let's see, can I... Yeah, from here I could probably do a couple more things. Let's move in there, and... And about a couple... Should I just keep nailing on Gunzai, or... Hmm. I'm wondering if I should keep nailing on Gunzai. Because, I mean, we have enough... We Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wait, you guys stay, you guys stay. Because I can't, like, move any of these guys around without causing major major controversy and these guys are just oh my goodness oh I'm actually losing for once really no I'm still slaughtering them at a massive massive rate they're just somehow surviving because okay I'm just gonna move my troops right there okay yeah 
18,000 troops versus about 287, and they are dying quick. They are just, oh my goodness, this is, this makes you wonder how do they even survive, because I can just keep going in and, why is China, oh, no, 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 that is something we definitely don't want. Um, China, you better move your troops out quick, because I will go after you too, and I seriously mean that, okay, um, as much as I hate, okay, you want peace, okay, good, okay. Okay, now that you got peace, quickly go defend yourself. And if you guys want to know why I'm so worried right now, is because right now as it is, we do not want China to conquer all of Gunzai again. That would be really bad. That'd be severely bad if they conquered all of China again. And I got a lot of troops right here. I didn't even realize I had this many troops right here in that region. I'm going to move all my troops back. Their own positions. Why did you guys all split up? Yeah, these guys definitely split up. Did I take control of some of the army? Because I swear I did not have, and no, I definitely did not have irregulars in my army. I know that for a fact. I did not make any irregulars in my army. So apparently I must have, somehow I'm getting troops from somewhere. Okay, I'm going to have to divide this army, aren't I? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I did not make any irregulars in my army. I made sure of it, because irregulars stink in this version now. Okay, you guys disband. Yeah, what the, I, I, I don't know where that's coming from, but okay. All my army has moved out. We're now moving out of the country, and I hopefully, hopefully the Gunzaians will be able to kick their butts back into gear and go kick out the Chinese. I'm really hoping they will not let the Chinese conquer them. I did leave, I did kill a couple of their men, but it's still the vast majority of the men in live. And since China and them actually do have an evenly matched army, but I've divided China, so like, I would say a good 25% of the army is not going to be in use. Canadian communists are now starting to become a big issue in my country now. I've just seen that. Just seen the light of that. So, uh, I, I, as much as I hate ending on, like, this kind of note because we were just doing so good. Okay, you guys can actually just combine. We don't really, there's no real point to, like, keeping you guys separate. I think this is, yeah, I think this is a good size episode. So, next time, people, um, I think we'll be going after China I mean yeah going after China next because we honestly can so look forward to that look forward to our conquest of China and for all this time everyone as I always say in every episode thank you guys for watching thank you guys for for everything and don't forget to comment wait and subscribe you know give me your thoughts about what has been maybe the best moment in this let's play what was your favorite thing that ever happened into it you know give me this comment give me these kind of like things in the comments it'd be really nice to know because um i honestly like reading you guys' comments i don't know if you guys ever i get i guess you guys can kind of imply this but youtubers that you know get comments really do like hearing you guys talk we really do like hearing you guys speak your minds and say what you want to even if it's not the nicest things in the world we still do like hearing you guys speak your minds so anyways you know don't so just on that note i guess i'll end the episode and see you guys in the canadians beautiful and bright future